Meet Google Gemini Experiment 1206, a model that might deserve the hype. Today I'm running two big tests in Visual Studio Code with either using this model, one with reference code and one without it. So let's see if this model is a big deal or just another failure. There are a rumor going around about the new model from Google, the Gemini Experiment 1206, is being the Gemini 2 Flash. It's right now completely free both on the AI Studio of Google and Def ABI. But I found this another tweet from Tick Kenshi, I think that is his name, saying this is not the Gemini Flash 2 when he used the cursor it registered as a premium model, which it means it's the Gemini Pro model, not the Flash version. And after I tested, I feel like it's more of a Flash version, not a Pro version from the speed that I got when coding with it. So if you head right now to the Lama Arena aka Chatbot Arena and open the leaderboard and select the category of coding, you'll find that the first model right now is the Gemini Experiment 1206. And seeing a Gemini model on the top of the leaderboard of coding is a bit weird for me. Especially that the Gemini model used to suck bad at everything except mathematics. So I had to test it and confirm that this model actually good or not. So to set up this model inside your Visual Studio Code, until now, Klein, Continue, either Composer is not working great with it. The only option that we have right now that's working 100% is code GBT chat. You can install it from the extension tab, select your AI, select the provider, select the Go, Google AI Studio. And there you will have multiple models. All of them, all the models of Google, you will find it there. Select the 1206 and it automatically will connect you after you put your API key. You can get your API key from aistudio.google.com and there you can get or create a new API key. You don't have to set up anything else and it will work automatically on your Visual Studio code. Before we start, generating any code, this is the current project that I have. I created a while ago using Klein and the Haiku 3.5, but it lack a few pages, like for example, the category pages is not working and the about us pages not working. Also, I just need to create these two pages and improve a few things inside this project to let me know if this model is good enough as a coding assistant or not. So let's get started. So I'm going to start by creating a new page inside a route that I want. I named it categories for the first page. And I created this prompt for code GBT. I want to create an XGS page to display all posts for different categories in a blog website using Tailwind CSS and GSX similar to the style. And the style I'm going to give it inside this page. I'm going to copy and paste it. And don't worry about the amount of token that you can send. This model can handle 2 million token counts, which is impressive. I'm going to hit send and see how it will handle it. The most annoying thing about this kind of code GBT assistant, it doesn't create files or folder or execute command inside the terminal. Basically, it's not like either or client, which is kind of sucks, but it's a very good when it comes to connecting to any new model. So far, Klein or continue can't work with this model. I have tested both of them and also either composer, which is connected to either didn't work also with this model. So right now it's kind of creating the, the fake data for this page and it's creating components. So it's not creating everything in one page. It's creating multiple different files for different components. Okay. It's creating even the other pages like category details, like a slug, and how to run it, and it did give me key improvement of what it did and what I need to do to enhance this kind of code. This is really decent from Gemini, especially last week I did a video using it, and it was awful, like a really awful experiment. This is the result that I got from the model, which is honestly impressive, but the code inside the files by myself, which is the only annoying thing about it. But first of all, it did give me fake data to use inside a simple file and it guide me where to put it. The second thing that it did, it created three different components, footer, header, and postcard. 
Then in the end, it created the page, aka the category page, and put all the components together inside this page and bold the fake data, used the navigation, and I just have to switch from using route to use parameters because for some reason it didn't pick up on the what version XGS I'm using, which is kind of a fault. But the total experiment so far is one of the best model from Gemini so far. It's not only after it's done giving me the code, it told me what I need to improve, but actually it went to give me a detailed list for further development, what I need to do from one to a hundred. I'm not joking. This is like one prompt. This model have been working on already an existing project. What if I created a project from basically zero? Then the best thing to use this with is either itself. So I'm gonna try this right now. So in completely empty folder I have here, I created a new file called .env and I bought one thing inside it called either model and the name of the models that I want to use. And go ahead, put your API key over here and save this file and we're gonna use either with it. And if you don't have either on your machine, it's simply you need to install Python 3.10 and using Python to install either chat using this command. I'm gonna leave this in one of the comments down below so you can use it. If you want your terminal and hit either, it will automatically will work and it will ask for creating a new repository. I will hit yes. It created the new repo. Now it gave me a warning about the Gemini experiment 1206, which doesn't have any information like the cost, the window size of it. So basically it will tell you, be careful with this model, but we are gonna go ahead and say, no, I don't know. I don't want to see the condition and we'll start to creating project using it. So here I will give either this prompt, create a next app using the app router, not TypeScript, and build a modern e-commerce page with a clean design, dark mode, and creative UI. And it should run. Now it started to create this project, project structure, and what it will look like, what is the global style and dark mode will be look like, the layout components, the header components, the theme toggle components, okay. It's creating two different themes here, dark and light, product data. It's blending everything at first, but I don't think anything being executed. I first have to create the project before I start anything. Cause right now it told me I want to add this file to a folder that doesn't exist. So I'm gonna first create a new project for Next.js. And this is the result that I got. As I expected, if it didn't have some sort of reference to our quiz, it will start to acting like this, which is extremely basic and ugly, I have to say. But the planning and the setup is really neat, like creating the multiple components, both the components inside the page. It, it's a very good, I can use it in a different way by creating the main layout using Haiku model or the Sony 3.5 and the main theme and the style and ask Gemini to create components using it. It's not disappointment to be honest, like the first result that I got was very good. I have to give it that. But when you give it a blank page and you want to build in it something that is really good, it will start to acting like this. But I can improve the Gemini prompt a little bit by giving it more direction, using what kind of images, using different icons, making the style in a certain way. but. Usually, Sonnet and Haiku handle this for us. So at the end, Sonnet 3.5 new is still the coding king. And just to double down on what I just said, go ahead to the livebench.ai, you will find exactly what I said. If you sort it by the coding average, you'll find that the, actually the Sonnet 3.5 is still the king of coding. And after it exactly is the Gemini Experiment 1206 which is what I just said. This model is good at coding, extremely good at coding when you give it a reference, basically a code torque with, or a snippet to use, or also in planning, I notice in planning it is extremely good. Also the speed of generating code is insane. Like compared to the other model that I tested from the Gemini experiment, this one will take the cake. 
And I'm pretty sure when this model came out in its real name, aka Gemini 2 Flash, or maybe the Gemini 2 Pro, and integrated inside Klein, I think it will you will see its full potential unlocked like the Sonus 3.5 or the Haiku model or the GPT 40 So for now, I will keep my eye on this model, especially because it's free and it's have a very good performance in the coding. So that's it. If you found this video respecting your time and providing you with valuable information, please hit the like and subscribe if you are not. And leave a silly comment down below in the comment. Let me know what you think about this model. I'm really interested about this model because the whole free thing, you can use it in an unlimited way, but you don't have to break the daily limits or the request per minute. And uh, the whole reference code is really good. I'm going to use this model even more when it come out as an official named model. So thank you guys for watching and see you on the next video.